Alright, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making the Jean Tutu. Today is my niece's birthday. Happy birthday, Kennedy! So this is what you'll need. Let me get right into it. I ain't trying to waste y'all time. I went to the thrift store because I don't have any jeans over here at my house. So I went to the thrift store and bought the overall version and the regular jean version. We're going to do both today. Um, the tool came from Walmart. I went ahead and cut it with, to the size that I needed it to be. First, I started cutting it like that. I put all four colors together, started cutting those together, and it, it just took too much time. So, what I did was I got my um, acrylic ruler and I unraveled the roll around the ruler, and then I just cut it. So however long I wanted it, the front and the back, and then cut it again at the top, and that's how I got those strips right there. So let's get into it. Let me get started. Okay, um, first thing first, what you're gonna do is get your jeans or your overalls, turn them to the back, and you're gonna cut. You're gonna cut the jeans like right up under the pocket. That's where you're gonna cut the jeans at, right up under the pocket. Of course, I'm recording with one hand, so I'm not gonna do it on camera. And then for the overalls, you're gonna cut right up under that seam. So you can have these buttons right here to um, put them on the child. Yep, so you're gonna cut right there. So let me go ahead and cut, and then I'll come back on camera. And when I come back on camera, I'll be at the sewing machine. Okay, so now I'm at my sewing machine station. Um, I got my, my tool and I'm just doing um, the same color at a time and what you want to do is sew right in the middle of this tool so here we go I got um, four pieces don't mind my nails I do hair too so I got hair dye on my nails okay so I got my I got my um, brother machine at one the stitch length at four. Here we go. Oh, down back stitch. Then I'm going to grab more smooth them out lift your foot up smush it up under so I can just follow along I actually have the ruffling foot I don't even know why I didn't use it but color which is purple sorry you can't see with all the flow but the next color is purple so I'm gonna get four of those and do it again lift up your foot drop down and start the next color Okay, 
and then you should have something that looks like this a long train of tools and then you know fold it right down the middle so then you find the two strings and grab one grab one of the strings and then you just pull just pull the string and pull the tutu at the same time shimmy it on down the line it's a horrible tutorial but y'all see what I'm doing get the string and you pull it down like that it can only go so far before you have to slide the tutu down and pull again don't pull so hard to where you'll break your your thread and you can also pull from the other end as well so right now see you bunch it up it gather it together okay now I'm going on to the other end I just found the string go on to the other end and start pulling it down I'm trying to find the middle but when you get done it should be bunched up like this already looking like a tutu okay now once you've um, scrunched your tutu it should look something like that okay you get your pants that you cut okay I want the pink to be in the front so um, I'm gonna start like that so what you do is you sew the middle right here to the edge of the pants, the skirt. Well, now it's the skirt. But you sew, sew it on the pants like that. And then when you fold it down, it'll look like it'll have a nice edge and it'll just be tutu. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, now what you want to do, like when you get the overalls, they're not going to be like the pants. So, um, I already did the front part. Okay, and what I did was, same thing as with the skirt. Ooh, a piece of hair. Um, I opened it up, and I sewed it along the edge of the overalls just a little bit up above the edge sew it directly down the middle of the t the tutu so this is the front this is what the front looks like so because with overalls you're going to have two pieces the back and the front so right now um, if you can see i haven't even sewed not one stitch yet but what i have is the tool scrunched up the first time I, when I did the skirt, I sewed down the middle first, then I smushed it down the line and scrunched it. No, I'm not doing that with this one. With this one, I'm just gonna add it as I go. So um, with this one, I put the needle down already and I bunched it up just a tad bit. I got um, three sheets, I'm gonna say sheets of tulle. I bunch it up just a little bit. So, got my needle down. And I'm just gonna sew the first stitch. I 
know, I'll be nervous and so when actually I'm just gonna do this off camera and uh because I'm I'm nervous to do it. <laughs> I don't know, but all I'm gonna do is just sew in the middle of this tool down all the way down. I'll be back. Okay, so here are the two skirts finished. Here's the back of the tutu. And here's the skirt. Here's the back of the skirt. Well, I got heat press stuff all on it, so I'm gonna do that. But yep, yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, y'all. I need to get a mannequin, I know. And when it's on the child, you can fluff it out a lot more. Here's the overalls tutu. And you know, you can put like little diamonds and rhinestones on it if you want. So, okay. Well, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, y'all, here go the skirts. To be honest, this only took like an hour. Not even an hour, but I was bullshitting around. Okay, here is the front. There's the back with a down string on it. Let me move that. Front and back of the overall tutu skirt. And then here's the blue jean tutu skirt.